So I said it's not as impossible as you would think to make the uh, playoffs. Yeah, let me Pretty hear you impossible. Make, make this case. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at the wild card standings right now and the update. There you see. Uh, now, it's kind of a phony listing because, not, not a phony listing, but um, Houston, not the number four team, and Tennessee, one of those teams will make will win their division. The other may or may not be a wild card. Correct. All right, so there you have it. Buffalo took a loss over the weekend. Pittsburgh, what a win that was for them. And uh, the Titans, the Titan. I don't even, can you recite all of the possibility? What, who do you need to root for this weekend? Do we have any idea? Well, I, I've been, I don't think you need to root for anybody this weekend. I think whoever loses the Tennessee and Houston game this weekend, you right. have to hope that they keep losing. Yeah, because, and they play each other. The and last I think game the, the same season. thing goes for Bills and Steelers, right? If the yes, if the Steeler, if the Bills lose, you have to hope they lose out. If the Steelers lose, actually, yeah, the Browns yeah, yeah, have yeah. a couple of the wild card, the tiebreakers is going in there. You know what? What what did benefit them less, I think, is that at one point it looked like the Colts were going to be right. another factor and one that they would have trouble matching, and then the Colts just fell apart and have lost the last three in a row. All right, so let's look at the out the outlooks for the teams as we stretch it out and show you what what's going on here. All right, the, the remaining games for the Texans, they've got the Titans twice and the Buccaneers. So, uh, again, if whoever wins that Titans-Texans game, you need them to keep losing. And with them holding the tiebreaker over the Titans, you would think that you, you would really need the Titans to lose, right? Correct. So that Houston ends up with the, as a division right. champ. So Tennessee holds, the, uh, holds it over the Titans due to the division record. They hold the tiebreaker over the Browns because of the conference record. And uh, there you see the conference record, mm -hmm. although that could change. These guys have done a nice job putting this all together because it's hard to figure out without this chart. All right, Buffalo has the Steelers, the Patriots, and the Jets. The Browns own the tiebreaker on that one. They defeated the Bills 19-16 to in Week 10. Almost forgot about that game. And we continue on and take a look at what else is out there. That's the Steelers, their remaining games. The Bills, the Jets, and the Ravens, although you don't know about the Ravens, they probably won't need that game at that point, yeah, right? Yeah, they might be sitting some players, including Lamar Jackson, by that point. Right, and they've won seven of their last eight games, believe it or not, despite their quarterback problems. The Browns do own, uh, hold the tiebreaker against Pittsburgh due to the division record, and there you see it right there. So I would not go to... Oh, there's our Titans now. Oh, there's the Titans now. Yeah, now they're the ones that own the tiebreaker over the Browns because of that head-to-head. -head. Right. And we know how painful Opening that game. first game was. Yeah. All right, there you have it. Yeah, so I don't lot, know what percentage you put on it, but I'd say just to throw it up against the wall, 5% chance that yeah, the Browns I, get it? I, not much more than that, I think. And, and I think at the end, then, you're going to be left to say, and I kind of wrote this after the game the other day, that the, the, when you look back at the 2019 Browns, you'll say there was too much drama and not enough wins. Yeah. You know? I also think, I don't know how and you... And let's say this, too, Les. They can't, they can't stumble anywhere. They've got to win no, they at gotta Arizona. They've got to take care of the Ravens here. And then they've got to win at Cincinnati. It would be such a Browns thing to have happen. What, to win them all and to not To win in it? Arizona, to beat the Ravens here, and then and lose, lose to the, <laughs> to the one in 14 Bengals right. on the final game of the season. I sort of changed my mind on Freddie Kitchens. I thought if he went 8-8, eight and eight, there's almost no way that they could not let him stay. Now I'm thinking the numbers have nothing to do with it. I think it's it's how they win, it's how they play, even if it's a loss. It's I, I don't think it's a, a sheer numbers factor here. I, I agree with you there. I think the only thing that could, I think the remaining three games could end up sealing his fate, in a, meaning that he would not be back if he loses at Arizona, if he loses at Cincinnati. Um, but other than that, I'm not sure it's going to have a, uh, play a huge factor. I think Dorsey's still going to sit down and look at the entire picture. How did they play? What happened with the offense this year? Is the quarterback progressing? You know, but all he's those almost, factors. He almost has to factor in the fact that he's the one who made that decision. So you wonder if Freddie gets extra points on that. Yeah. I mean, we know that the owner we know that the owner gave Dorsey the clout when it came to that hire, right. even though the, the other half of the front office, Paul D. Podesta, uh, and more the, the, the analytics people, you know, wanted Kevin Stefanski brought in as a finalist, uh, Minnesota offensive coordinator. Um, it, clearly, Dorsey's choice was Freddie. 
He liked the fact that the players knew him already, seemed to like him, and that the quarterback and he had a relationship. I just haven't seen the, I, you know, unless Baker Mayfield has three terrific games here at the end right. of the season, I think it's going to be hard to say, hey, this, you know, this is why we brought Freddie back so that this guy would be, you know, okay, farther so, along than he is. So who makes the call? Do you think that Dorsey makes the call if he's th for Freddie to stay, or the Jimmy and uh, D Haslam? Well, I think the ha I think. Knowing Jimmy Haslam, he's, and he's going to sit down and say, what in the world happened here? We thought we had a team that could Fair win a division yeah. and make the playoffs. Um, why didn't we? And is this the right head coach? And at that point, Dorsey's going to have to either say, you know, I made a mistake or stick, stick to with his him. guns. 216-901-0945.